looking at the very encouraging results with longer follow-up. Obviously, we as physicians, we would like to see CTLO-19 in earlier lines. We now are in a really difficult situation, third line or fourth, fifth line, aggressive B-cell lymphoma. Um, this is a really difficult to treat patient population and we see this very high efficacy in this population. And when looking at second line treatment for transplant ineligible patients or transplant eligible patients, outcomes are really not very good. They are way below 50%. They are around 20% even for transplant eligible patients with as young patients. So three years PFS is 20% in randomized trials. So it also in second line, we, we not only could, we should improve to the best of our patients. And that's why uh, a randomized phase three trial has been planned and will start uh, hopefully uh, sooner than later, I don't know exactly when, uh, certainly this year, comparing CTL-019, CAR T-cell therapy, to standard of care, which is then high-dose chemotherapy uh, with autologous stem cell support. This will be uh, a very important trial. You should keep in mind that we, we, we aim at high-dose chemotherapy and stem cell transplantation. However, efficacy is not very good and toxicity is extremely high. If you compare this intervention to CAR T-cell therapy, as we have seen it with ctl 19 now in, in the Juliet trial, uh, the risk-to-benefit ratio seems to be clearly better for CAR T-cell therapy. So this old-fashioned, let's say that way, aggressive approach should really be challenged.